Hello everyone! In this video, we're gonna focus on a mod, which is also one of my personal favorites, the Advanced CE mod. To summarize things, this mod adds the free part movement from the building editor to the creature editors and allows you to place parts more freely in a similar manner. But I've also heard that during one of my conversations that it's often been overlooked, which I'm guessing is due to not knowing the ins and outs and one issue I'll get to later. So first things first, I'm gonna lay down the mod's basic controls. Holding shift while moving the mod will move it along the X and Z axis or the horizontal axis. Holding control or if you're on a Mac CMD will move the part in a Y axis or a vertical axis. Alright, now I'm gonna cover what I think might be causing people to ditch the mod. It's that they think that doing this allowed them to have either floating or invisible parts when that's actually not the case because if it was then the utility that comes with that part would still have a visible icon and be usable in game like this keratin horn part would still allow the creature to charge but as you can see it doesn't the thing is that even if you can now move the parts around more freely you still need to set a parent foundation for the part so that the body will address it as being part of it well, let's say you want this horn to be like a massive growth coming out from the neck. But you don't want it to just be like this. You want it to flow more with the head. So with the advanced CE mod and some adjusting, you can sink it in to this flesh like this. Maybe make it a little lower. See? And it still functions and now it flows more as well. And there's also other things you can do with the same rule. Like you want this creature's beak to be shorter without modifying it too much. So what you can do is like sink it a little bit like this. And you can, you know, just stop right there or you can even take it even further by sinking it f right into the head like that and then expanding the corners of the mouth. See, that's a really cool effect you got there. But, you know, that's, the only downside is that you have this fleshy thing inside the back of its throat. But, you know, that's a small price to pay. Another thing you can do is, like, you can make parts move as if they are, like, the segments or the joints below a limb. Like, for example, I'm gonna make this weapon be an entire arm below the elbow. You can do this. And then move it down with the controls I mentioned before. Make it flow seamlessly with the arm. The foundation should be right down here. You see? And there you go. You can also adjust it a little bit more to hide the hand below further. Another cool thing you can also do is make feet and graspers flow more seamlessly with the limbs so that it won't just look like you stuck a functioning hand onto an amputated or a leg. Like you can move it around like this and see there's now a little now there's a better flow. As for the feet you can make it flow in a way like this heel won't stick out too much like it'll look more like a feral animal instead of an anthropomorphic or a human foot that's been changed into that of an animal this see granted it may float a bit above the ground but you know that's a small price to pay besides most things float off the ground anyway all right one important thing that you gotta avoid concerning the mod's relation with the legs if you somehow you know manage to separate it from the body and the parent foundation like so do not move it with your mouse just the best thing you have to do is just undo it and then try again. Because if you drag this, then your game will crash and you'll end up back to your desktop and you have to try all over again. So just undo it. Okay, please note, you actually can make floating parts with the advanced CD, but it's more labor inducing than you think. Observe. Like if you want to make it sort of float above the foundation, you have to make it as large as possible and 
move it until you know it still addresses it as part of the body and then shrink and then grow again and then move it further shrink again like i said it's pretty labor inducing i think you're better off just using something like the you know the invisible parts from the dark injections mod and well that's pretty much the gist of how to use the advanced ce and now that you know the basics of it it should open you up to a new mode of freedom in customizing your creatures and if any of your creators have discovered even more about this mod don't be afraid to share your inputs on your own videos. I'd love to see what you discovered during your time with it. And as usual, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.